In this video, we'll explain what the ORA 02291 error is, otherwise known as parent key not found, see an example, and look at how to resolve it. So what is this error? It usually happens when we try to insert data into a table. The error is ORA 02291, integrity constraint and then the constraint name violated, parent key not found. So what does this even mean? It means we are trying to insert data into a child table and refer to a parent table, but the value in the parent table does not exist. Let's see a demo of this. We're going to see an example using the department and employee tables. I've got a couple of drop table statements at the top here, just so I can reset the data by removing the tables and start again if I need to, but we can ignore them for now. We're going to create a department table called department eg, for example, just to make sure it's unique in my database here. It has a department ID and department name. The primary key has been defined as a department ID field. Let's run this command. We can see the department table has been created. Now let's create the employee table. This has an ID, a first name and a department ID. The primary key here is on the employee ID field. We also have a foreign key on the department ID column, which refers to the department table's department ID as well. This is a common relationship between two tables. An employee relates to a department in this example. Let's run this query here. The table is created. Now let's insert some data. We're going to insert two records into the department table. ID of one for sales and ID of two for HR. Let's select both of these queries here to run them both at the same time. We can see one row has been inserted in both instances. Now let's insert some employees. We're going to insert ID number one with a name of John, department ID two, which should be HR. One row was inserted. Now let's insert Sarah, employer ID two with a department ID of one. This was inserted as well. No error has appeared. Let's insert a third employee called Stephen with a department ID of one as well. So now we have two employees in the one department. This is okay. Now let's insert another employee with an employee ID of four, a name of Carla and a department ID of three. We can see we have an error here. Insert into employee, which is the query that we ran. Error report or our 02291 integrity constraint ben.fk underscore mpeg underscore depth violated parent key not found. So this has happened because we're trying to insert a value into the employee table here using department ID three, but there's no record in the department table with an ID of three. Remember, we only inserted values with an ID of one for sales and two for HR. Another way to tell what this refers to is by looking at the constraint here. It says ben.fk underscore mpeg underscore depth. The first part, ben, is the name of the user that I've logged in as. The second part, fk underscore mpeg underscore depth, is the name of the foreign key constraint that's been violated here. Now I usually recommend giving a readable name like this to a foreign key constraint. So we can look at it and see that fk stands for foreign key, underscore empeg, which is the name of my table, employee eg, and then underscore depth, which refers to the other table I'm referring to. If I go back up to my create statement here, we can see the constraint here refers back to the department table. So that's another way of checking that the department ID with a value of three does not exist. Let's select from the employee table to see what that looks like now. We only have our three records here. ID four for Carla was not inserted because we got that error. And in the department table, we only see the two department records. So to fix this, we either need to update the department ID we've used for that record we want to insert, or add that department to the table. In this instance, we're going to add that department to the table. We're going to insert into the department table, the ID of three and support. Because in this example, we want to keep Carla in department ID three, which is support. We can see one row has been inserted here. 
Let's select from the department table again, and we can see department ID 3 now exists. Now let's run the same statement as before, where we try to insert Carla into the employee table. We can see it's been inserted here. No error has happened, because department ID 3 was found this time. Now let's query the employee table just to double check. We can see that Carla is now in the table. So that's how you can find out what the ORA 02291 error is and how to resolve it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel by using the big subscribe button on the page to keep up to date with all the Oracle SQL videos that are released. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment as well.